I guess this winter was just kind of just another typical winter on the North Shore, you know, guys are just getting bombs left and right, you know, and next thing you know, you lock into a crazy one and, you know, you think you might have the wave and then Koa does his thing and Mason does his thing and this whole winter just starts unfolding to be this, you know, epic winter. The focus is that pipeline, for me at least, you know, every day I serve pipeline, pipe, back door, pipe, back door. <laughs> It's the best wave in the world. It's the most consistent wave in the world. All my friends are out there. It's just, it's just where I feel right at home. So I'm really stoked to win the Performer of the Year. And you know, it's, it's definitely been on my bucket list, but you're really striving to get the best wave of the winter. And then along with that comes performing and surfing and doing what you love to do. So to me, it just kind of ticked off all the boxes at Pipeline by winning Performer of the Year. Woke up Christmas morning, it was absolutely firing. It was just like, you know, presents were just coming in and just coming and like, they weren't like pretty presents, they were pretty heavy, you know, like just, just the way it was stacking on the reef. And luckily, one just came right to me and I was like, oh my God, it was big, it was gnarly. I remember Kelly paddling for it and he was kind of looking at me like, you need a push? And I just started kicking and paddling as hard as I could. and I. I knew, man, if I didn't make the drop on this wave, it was gonna be bad, because that was kind of one of those waves that like, it's do or die on the takeoff. If you go down, it's gonna be a real heavy wipeout. And just got to the bottom, man, and my, I felt my fins leave the leave the face, and I it just connected, and then, boom, just pulled in, and then I just, the thing just lined up, and I was like, wow. The coolest part about it is I didn't think I was gonna make the wave because it was such a heavy wave and so much went on. And I just remember kicking out of that wave and just scratching my head and I was so stoked. Right after the wave, I was trying to go in and the current just sucked me right back out. I was like, well, I guess I'm going back out. The wave that they entered in the shootout was, um, it wasn't a big wave, but it was a real technical wave. I remember there was no waves in the heat and then I, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna sit where I know to sit and just wait for it. And it came right to me and I remember I was like, wow, I'm really deep. Did one big pump and then another pump. And then I was just like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go down and just boom, and just started spitting. I was like, wow, so stoked, you know? So the reason why I chose Sunset Beach Elementary for the $10,000 uh, charity donation is because I feel it's a perfect balance, you know. If you go to Sunset Beach Elementary School, you know, your playground is generally pipeline, or at least you'll get your way up to it, you know. 